Aquarius, welcome to your general love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. What's going on? If you're new to my channel, first of all, welcome. And I hope you subscribe. You will note, as many have, <laughs> I'm a little different. I'm a real person who does real terror. I also have real personality. Okay? I laugh. I express myself. I tell jokes. Often lame ones. People seem to like it. I don't know. But you let me know. If I work with you, if I vibe with you, let me know. I always like to know. All right, what's going on? What's going on? As I had to point out the other day, the name is Sassy Scorpion Tarot, not Super Mellow Scorpio. Mm -mm. No, baby. We do reel around here, but I'm also tired. <laughs> I'm also tired. Some days there's not enough coffee in the world. What's going on with that Aquarian energy, please? What's going on? What's going on, Major Tom? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Aquarius. What's going on for Aquarius, please? Good. Smooth. What's going on for Aquarius, please? Take it resonates. If it is not, it's not your story. Don't force it to fit. It's normal when portions resonate. Sometimes a great deal. Sometimes none whatsoever. And if that's the case, check your other placements. Or I'll catch you next time. Easy peasy. All right. What's going on? Show me that recent past for Aquarius, please. Okay. Show me that recent past for Aquarius, please. Show me that recent past. Let's see. I'm trying to recall... You featured heavily, if I recall correctly, in Capricorn's video. So just in case you're connecting with a Cappy, you might want to check those out. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Some of that recent, okay. Queen of Wands, looking good, feeling good. You know, exuding a certain fire, a certain inner light, a certain way of engaging in the world. Some of you might have been waiting on something to be decided. Mm. What's behind that Queen of Wands, please? Fire energy, lovely, nice, nice. What's behind that? Some of y'all just taking care of yourselves. Absolutely. What's going on? What's behind that Queen of Wands, please? What's okay? The Knight of Wands. <laughs> Demonstrating our passion, eh? Nice, nice. <laughs> Some of y'all feeling it. Some of y'all feeling it for Aquarian energy. This is not a surprise. What's behind that Knight of Wands, please? Some of you might. Uh, Nine of Cups, looking towards your own kind of personal gratification. I see this Aquarius for often. That's because you tend to have a very, well, focused mind. Many of you identify with knowing what it is that you want. And if that means exuding some fire, so be it. You know? Now, it could be that you were connecting with somebody who you felt had a little too much fire. That they are beautiful, yes, but kind of in and out. So, if that's the case, you let me know. Reverse energies as it applies. Show me that. What's behind that Knight of Wands, please? But it's not unsurprising to see Aquarian having play energy, honestly. Honestly. It's like, that's where I'm at right now, and that's where I'm at right now. Know thyself, yes? What's behind it, please? What's behind that Knight of Wands? We'll see what's up with this. It wouldn't be... Okay. Heart space, going within, healing, so you took a time out. There you are. Okay. So some of you went through your moon energy while you were recovering from something, so that would explain why I'm seeing you exuding passion. For some of you, that's how you identify with healing. I see that for Aquarius a lot. There it is. You know? What's behind it? Can I narrow that down, please? What's behind the Knight of Wands? I want to know what's prompting all this activity. Ah, because you were emotionally dissatisfied. That's the long and short of it. Easy peasy. Okay. That, that doesn't take a genius to figure this out. Uh, some of you are exuding a great deal of passion and energy, particularly where your physical appearance was concerned, your personal fire backed up with that Knight of Wands energy because you were emotionally bored or dissatisfied. Okay. You were pursuing your options and it's like nothing's going on, man. Nothing's going on. So I tend to see two reactions when nothing's going on. Either people stay at home and do nothing or they get out and explore. Guess which one you did? <laughs> That's what you were doing. Three of cups. <laughs> this is for some of you, not all of you. Again, it's like, if it's not yours, don't force it. Don't. I don't be like, there's absolutely nothing going on. I'm not doing anything. You're wrong. No, it's just not yours. That's it. There's no mystery there. It's not yours. Check your other placements or I'll catch you next time. Some people have a really hard time with the flexibility thing, man. I read for the collective. The collective is fast. What's currently going on? What's currently going on? The hanged man. Okay. Perspective time. What's behind the hanged man? What's behind the hanged man? What'd you learn about yourself in this exploration that you had? 
okay, uh, that you are covering from heartbreak, and that's why. Okay, yeah, that's kind of plain and simple, isn't it? Some of you simply weren't happy with your options in the past, so you exuded your fire energy, and many of you, this was just like a form of escapism. I'm not going to accept all these. That's for some of you, not all of you. Some of you simply were trying to recover from a drowning ship and a broken heart, you know? So you got out there to shake it off. You didn't like where you were. Some of you didn't feel good. You felt depressed. And so your reaction then makes sense to get yourself out there so you can feel something again, so you can feel alive again. This is a normal response. I feel like I have to say this all the time. You know, passion is part, for some people, their recovery process. It's not a surprise to me at all, and that's also why I don't do judgment. See? Okay. Good. This is actually good. Death to the negative thoughts. You got some perspective on this. You put an end to the negative thoughts, the sneaky thoughts, the self-doubt, the self-sabotage. The things that we tell ourselves that sneak up in the back of our brain. I did see some of you working in your moon energy. What it was, I don't know, but some of you did take a time out. It's like, okay, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? What's the purpose? What's the point? So some of you took a time out to understand this, and it's like, okay, I think I understand now. What the hell's going on with me? You killed these self-inflicting doubts. Okay. It's intense, too. Let me know if you're done with Scorps. Some say the hanged man is Pisces. I personally think that's up for debate, but... Heavy Leo Aries Sag energy does not have to be. This is more like your personal energy you're putting off because you were so unhappy with something. And it looks like it has something to do with this and you come to terms with it. Death is here. You come to terms with these difficult, dark thoughts. Okay, you took a time out. I think you, some of you were examining your behaviors and what was motivating you to get out there anyway. You know? Makes sense to me. Oh, looks like you were dealing with the lover's type situation. You know, card of Gemini. What's the future looking like for Aquarius, please? What's the future looking like for Aquarius, please? What's the future looking like for Aquarius, please? Six of Cups. In the future context, that's good. This might be a Six of Cups that is yet to be. Okay? Or a Six of Cups that you desire to have with somebody. Okay? It's not a guarantee of someone of the past. King of Wands. Mm, somebody might be... Uh, I've been seeing new love recently, which is good. I'm happy with that. I'm so tired of seeing worn out, old, reconnecting energies trying to... It's just like... It, I'm just so sick of it. So, what's behind that Six of Cups, please? What's behind the Six of Cups, please? What's behind that Six of Cups? Three of Pentacles. Four of Swords, Six of Swords. I do believe there's someone you're interested in, and you're going to move towards it cautiously. Cautiously. It's delicate. It feels so delicate to me. I could easily read that Three of Pentacles as being like a friend or acquaintance, and perhaps that's how it starts out. That might be one of the reasons why it feels exquisitely delicate to me. This feels delicate. Okay. This, this feels careful. This energy feels very careful. You're treating this person very carefully. Not with the brash energy back here. Mm -mm. There's someone that you are trying to make something work with in the future context. <sighs> they may have started out as a friend or acquaintance. I don't feel X. It doesn't feel like X. It just feels like undiscovered love energy with this person and that you're moving it forward carefully, carefully, cautiously. Uh, because you know this person, but not like that. Not that I can tell. Let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> okay, it took you going within to kill off all these old self doubts. Self doubt. Self doubts and thoughts, that kind of thing. You have to excuse me, I'm tired. I received, I was on the receiving end, um, an early recipient of the vaccine, and I'm very grateful for that. Very grateful for that. And yeah, one of the effects, at least for me, <laughs> has been um, e extreme tiredness. <laughs> the vaccine is strong because what it's fighting or protecting you against is worse. So yeah, you know, I've had uh, just full on uh, muscle fatigue. Manageable though, I'm still working as you see. All right, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I'll tell you what though, my energy has been real interesting. <laughs> 
Etsy. Oh my God. Like that. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be working. But yeah, many of you are in a position where you're actively healing and moving forward and on with your lives. What's going on? What's going on here? That's been fun. All right. But yeah, like I said, I'm grateful. Whatever. These little side effects is nothing compared to the benefits. So, uh, Queen of Wands, please. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Show me that Queen of Wands. And let's go ahead and combine those. The Queen of Wands. Okay. C, 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 C. Fucking called it, bro. Sis. This is what I'm talking about right here. This is why I don't do judgment right here. It is not my place to give you advice or to tell you what's up. I read the cards as I read them. And I said this from the beginning. Some people have to enter a place of passion in order to heal themselves. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here. In order for you to heal from this fucking heartbreak, some of you are like, I've got to get out of this. I got to get out of this shitty four cups. I don't feel good. Some of you were depressed. Some of you were fucking depressed. And you know what? I'm not blaming you for brushing your hair and putting your fucking lipstick on and going out. Wear a mask. You're fine. All right? And hand sanitizer. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay? This is somebody's healing process. You had to get the fuck out of this, whatever it was. Now, eventually you stop. I see that raw hair. Okay? But some of you needed to get out. Some of you just wanted to feel good again and to look good again and to get some attention to shake off this bullshit energy that broke your fucking heart and you were in a place of healing and some people do. I'm not here to tell you don't do that Aquarius. Your healing process is your healing process is your healing process. It's not my place to judge it to tell you what the fuck is up. I read the cards and let me tell you something. I'm seeing an Aquarius on the forefront. Look at me. I'm awesome. I'm hot. On the inside, you were fucking devastated and you wanted to get out of it. For some of you, four was a critical time marker. Four months ago, four weeks ago, or, God forbid, last April. And you just now, or at least in the recent past, you got out sometime after that. So again, it looks easy because I'm throwing down bits of paper on this fucking table. What's actually happening is a great deal more complex than what you're showing on the surface. You were in pain and you wanted to get out of the fucking pain. Okay, there you go. Show me the Four of Cups, please. Show me the Four of Cups. I really get irritated sometimes when I see so much judgment. It's like, you know what? You do what you had to do to get out of it, okay? And if you go through a fire period in order to feel better, then that was your process. Just be smart, be safe. There it is. Okay, show me the Four of Cups. I'm your Auntie Sassy, baby. This ain't your mama's tarot. I'm anti-sassy. All right. Some of that four cups. Some of that four cups, please. This is your emotional dissatisfaction. I'm telling you. And also, I'm going to point. I used to do uh, health readings. This is also low-level depression. Do I blame you for putting a nice outfit on and going out and having a fun time? No. Fuck no, I don't. No, no. Got you out the house, didn't it? <laughs> it made you appreciate what the hell was going on, didn't it? A little bit. Yeah got you back out into the world. There's nothing wrong with that. Show me that four of cups. I hate it when people judge other people for their healing processes. So long as you're not hurting anybody, you're not hurting yourself, don't worry about it. Show me the four of cups, please. Show me the four of cups, please. Show me the four of cups, please. See? See? You got so tired, man. You got so fucking tired. Four of cups. Languishing. Being depressed. Unhappy. Oh, wait. There's another card back here. Oh, honey. There you are. That's your card. The star with the nine of cups and the three of wands. Many of you languish in this idea of unhappiness and even some low-level fucking depression. I'm going to say it for like it is, honey. Because there's heartbreak here. And you wanted to get back out. So guess what? You fucking did. Good for you. Okay? You wanted to get back out, so you did. There you are. I need something. I need to feel something. I need to get out. So you did. Now, let's fast forward. Here. At some point that stops, though. We go within, right? Show me the hanged man. In other words, you healed or you learned what it is you needed to learn. Hello? Show me the hanged man, please. Show me the hanged man, please. Three of cups. You got perspective on all this connection and all this activity? What? Did, okay. Then you realized you wanted something more. Okay. The hair font, six of cups. And strength card. You realized you wanted something more. Again, the healing process at work for you. All right. You got perspective on all these connections, yes? 
the Three of Cups, putting your energies out there. You got perspective on it. You took a time out. You learned from it. You learned from it what you needed to learn. Okay? That's it. That's all. It's not complex at all. Show me death here, please. Well, it might look, but your actual process is something you needed to do. It's something you needed to learn. Show me death, please. Show me death, please. Show me death, please. About putting it, you see, you don't want to juggle the heart space anymore. The Page of Cups, the most sincerest form or smallest representation of a heart space. You didn't want to juggle that anymore. No more small cups. So you put it into it. That's it. That's it. Do you see how it works? Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? Okay, you're recovering. You're not going to keep putting your cups out there anymore. You did what you had to do. You did a recovery period, and now you withdraw from these kind of random in and out connections, okay? You put a stop to it. Show me the Seven of Swords. What are your private thoughts here? Three of Pentacles, casual acquaintances, okay? So, yeah, y'all did this for a while, and you're like, okay, that was learning experience. I'm done with that, thank you very much. Uh, no more casual connections, yeah? All the threes are here. Yeah, all the threes are here. No more casual connections, all right? All right, show me the Seven of Swords, please. Show me the Seven of Swords, please. Show me the Seven of Swords, please. You could say that there might have been some third-party stuff here. I don't know. That's up for you. That's up for you to say. What I'm seeing is an Aquarius who had their heart broken, and they had to go through a healing phase. And for them, that meant having multiple connections in order to feel better. I'm seeing what looks like what looks like low-level depression. Okay? And understanding that you want to get out and to feel like yourself again. That's what I'm seeing. So I'm not interpreting third party here. What I'm seeing is a great deal of loose connections without commitment. Okay? Again, as part of your process of getting out there. All right. Some of the seven of swords. What are the, what's the, what are the sneaky private thoughts here? Decisions that need to be made about what? Decisions that need to be made about what? Your private thoughts. Okay. 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 Ah. <sighs> A lot of, you you seem to be quietly addressing your private thoughts about what burden is and how you kind of kept yourself hidden for a while, okay, and that you didn't want to be seen and uh, a lot of self-doubt here about love, the pain of it, what a burden it really was more than you understood or gave it credit for. Something about all these kind of loose in and out connections has taught that to you, okay. Um, I did see a desire to have deeper commitments in future, but um, this is something you needed to learn. It's something that you needed to learn. Let's go ahead and switch up the energies here. Okay, what's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. And that would explain why this, there you are, right at the split. Brilliant, also confirmation of that <laughs> past energy. <laughs> yeah, Aquarius was putting themselves out there, but like I said, it looks like it served a purpose. It also looked like it went on a bit longer than you meant it to or intended to because it seems to have deeply impacted you. Okay. So, in the future then, you are going to meet someone of substance and that would explain why you're treating it so delicately. Okay. Why you're treating it to be so delicately because it is tentative. All right. It could be also at work. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me the best possible clarification for it, Aquarius. What's going on here? There you are again. That's the King of Swords. That's you, my love. Mm-hmm. Some of the Six of Cups, please. This is someone of quality. Otherwise, you wouldn't be treating it so cautiously. You said back here, no more loose connections, and it was perhaps meeting this person that kind of tied up those thoughts for you. Okay. Some of the Six of Cups, please. Who is this? Who is this? You seem to recognize it as an instant connection. Some of the Six of Cups, please. Queen of Cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, you're liking the way that, yeah, it's looking like a new investment to you. Yeah. They seem to see you as well. You got the two of cups behind you. Okay. There you are again. New investment. Okay. It's looking like this, this person's energy is coming across very soft. They're very soft. This person. They seem to be quite loving. Queen of cups. I don't feel like that's you. I feel like that's you treating them very carefully because uh, you see the soul bond in them. Okay, you are going to stand up and fight for this. It could be that you are fighting in your heart space regarding the Six of Cups. That's not it because I'm not feeling that Queen of Cups is you. It's not you. It's somebody else. You might wonder if there is some competition surrounding them. I don't think so. 
because you're treating it so carefully or you have to be by design especially if you work with this person for some of you that's very specific okay show me that five of wands but I just see that as you standing up for this connection and taking it very fucking seriously all right show me that five okay see that's how it starts you're taking it very fucking seriously as I said page of cups Nothing overwhelming, just the simplest form of most sincere communication. You are treating this person very sincerely, like a lot. Their energy is very soft. Their energy is very soft, quiet, possibly shy. You are treating it so carefully, respectfully too. You seem to recognize it almost instantly as a Six of Cups. Okay, show me that Three of Pentacles, please. You might literally work with this person. That's another reason why you might be taking it so carefully, cautiously. I would dare say cautious. Your energy's coming across very... Where here it was like breakneck speed. <laughs> you slow down. You think about what you're doing. Why? In the future, you're taking somebody very seriously. Show me that Three of Pentacles. There you are, making a decision. Ooh. Oh, yes, you're being quite firm here. You want to date. I do believe you want to date this person. You're making a firm decision here to engage this person's energy, but also respectfully with boundaries. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Back here, it was it's fire and water. Over here, boundaries. Again, you might work with this person, but you're treating it respectfully. You're fighting for this connection. You're fighting for it for yourself. You want this. You want this person. Yeah, see, I told you new. I'm seeing new for a lot of folks, man. I am seeing new for a lot. Of, uh, there's going to be like three videos all called New Love. Here's probably going to be one of them because this feels like new to me. This is a future Six of Cups. This is a Six of Cups that is yet to be. It does not feel pre-existing to me. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a delicate balance here with this person. You want it done just so. You are giving it a lot of thought. Let me know if you're dealing with Virgo. Okay. Show me that four and six. Show me that four and six of swords. Two of swords, little under... Okay, all right, well, that's normal. All right, how to best do this? Show me the four and six, the moon. Why? Why? Why the moon? Why? You're uncertain? You're uncertain if this is going to go somewhere because it means a lot to you? Sure. Okay, what about it, though? Are they going to... What? What? Are they going to reciprocate? Oh my god, this person, now they're pulling up King of Cups. Okay. Okay, now they're pulling up King of Cups. <laughs> I st see, lovers at the bottom of the deck. It is matching sweet. I can tell this person means a lot to you. I do believe you're still hesitant, though. I believe you're taking this person very seriously. You don't want to fuck it up. I'm seeing what looks like a, a sincere practical plan in place as far as your approach is concerned with this person. Moving things forward, you're unclear. You're unclear about how to move things forward or if it will go somewhere. There seems to be some confusion about that. Um, but you're going to find out. You want to know. You know, there's no guarantees in life. And I'm saying that here in Tara, there's no guarantee here. Some of you might still be working in your moon energy. Perhaps there's things you don't want them to know about you. That's specific for some of you, not all of you. Okay, I'm moving this forward, but uh, you gotta try. You're just too curious. Your art space is so open and sincere for this person. Let me know if you're connecting with Pisces. Yeah, like I said, you're gonna do it. You're just gonna do it cautiously. I told you, you're doing it cautiously. You're still moving your cup forward. It's just with caution. In other words, you're going to take it slow. I can tell that this person means a lot to you. Okay, it does feel new. It does not look like an ex to me. I would tell you if it was. Okay, whatever that is, you already worked that shit out. Um, there seems to be some aspects about yourself that you're concerned with. Will they accept these things about me and my moon energy? It, can I move this forward? But you're also going to try to find out... Okay, but you're, so you're moving forward with caution. I'm not seeing an outcome. I'm not seeing like, oh, Aquarius, you're going to be happily married with this person, have two dogs and four kids. Uh, that's not what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is a tentative outcome because your plan towards them is also very sensitive. You seem to be undecided about your moon energy. Is there certain things about you that this person can accept? That's kind of like at the back of your mind. Um, there's some things you're trying to figure out still. Okay. Um, but you're still going to move it forward slowly but surely and cautiously. Again, you're treating this new energy with respect. And, but you're standing up for it. And it's going to have structures and boundaries. Whereas back here, no, it was loose connections that were on and off. 
this one you're taking very seriously. I would love to know more about, um, I just think the weight, could that have been louder? Uh, I just think there's some things here about this pathway you're unclear about. That's it. Particularly in regards to yourself, when you think about yourself and your moon energy. I don't know that you are fully convinced that you are healed yet, but this energy is so significant to you, you're going to try. I, uh, I do. I see you trying. It's just your personal sense of direction isn't entirely clear to you. But like I said, you got to find out. You're just too curious. You just, you got to know. You got to know about this person. You got to know. So again, moving forward with caution. You're not putting it all out there. You're taking it very fucking seriously. This thing has structure to it and boundaries and all that. Okay. I'm going to see if I can do a time check on this person. For some of you, you already know who this person is, just in the respect because you might work with them. See? Moving forward. This uh, Queen of Cups, which is not you. It is not you. Cancer Scorpio Pisces heavily. Their energy is reflected twice, particularly Pisces. Um, it's very soft. They are emotional. Um, you seem to be drawn to that. The emotional vulnerability please, piece. Something that was lacking back here other than understanding what your own indulgences were. Okay. That's it, really. There's that King of Cups again. Fuck. Y'all got... Y'all dealing with water. Y'all dealing with some water. Okay. King of Cups is technically Scorpio's card. Here twice. And then, like I said, water in general. Uh, specifically... Pisces and Scorpio, I am seeing healing, the hair font, looking at temperance, giving yourself permission to heal officially, level up, okay, oh my goodness, and is that Queen of Swords, that's you, yeah, I know you're making a firm, okay, I'm sorry, I meant to do a time check, <laughs> that doesn't tell me too much, except uh, 14 and 13, so that's 5 and 4 for some of you, April, May, any other time markers, references, please, for this energy, Time marker references that Aquarius can be made aware of for this energy, please. 13. Again, reduce this to 4. <laughs> so, quite simply, for some of you, April, May. <laughs> Don't you love, or is it for some of you this month? Okay. <laughs> Repeating messages, it's like, no, that, that's it. Stop asking. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, let's see if we can pull some of these guys. Oh, my goodness. Mm hmm See, bad health, I'm telling you. In this, in the kind of general context, some of you were just healing. This was your healing process. Some of you didn't feel good. Again, I did see what looked like low-level depression. All right. In order to shake it off, you went into fire. You know? I understand. You have a new pathway, love. You have a new pathway. I know you see it with this person, and you're treating that pathway with delicacy. And I also see it over here. You, the moon is obscuring the pathway. It's not clear to you, but you're trying, and you're treating it delicately. It means a lot to you. Okay? Anything else, please? Okay? Time is a thief. Thief in reverse. Thief in reverse. And if you feel like something was stolen from you, but you're coming out of it, it could be your time, your emotionality, God knows, your energy. You know? Many, see, lovers, you will have multiple. It's That's what it's looking like to me, okay? But also in the stronger sense, you will meet someone in the future that you, I'm telling you right now, you're treating with kid gloves because it's very important to you. Okay, anything else, please? Anything else, please? I think there's going to be three videos this week that has new love in the title. That's awesome. That's awesome, dude. Awesome. Anything else, please? Main female. There's, I told you, this is her. Or him. Whatever. They have a softer emotional energy. Okay? Quiet. Softer emotional energy. I'm telling you, it's this person. Right there. Okay, Aquarius. I hope this is helpful to you. Put it in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.